We have three sixths of a pizza slice. Why do I know it's three sixths? Because look, we have six slices of pizza. And one, two, three gives us three sixths. Hezzy says it's one half. That's correct. It reduces to one half because look. Yeah. Oh, let's try that again. Yeah. When you cut it in half, boom. You get three slices or half of a pizza. Hey, wait a second here. I think I know what's going on. Four eighths. That's the same thing as one half. Look at that, because you can go, yeah, and cut it into two halves. Two equal piles. This is one half of the original two by four block. So four eighths is equal to <laughs> one half. You'll notice here the greatest common factor is GCF is four. Definition time. The greatest common factor is the largest integer between a pair of numbers that evenly divides into both numbers. In other words, when you have two numbers, find the biggest number that you can divide both numbers by. Boom! That's the greatest common factor. Can we simplify 3 twelfths? Absolutely. Look at that. Compared to 1, it's little. Hey, T-Rex. Now, 3 twelfths simplifies very nicely. Is it 1 third? No. 1 third is too big. Hmm, could it be one fifth? No, one fifth is too small. Hezzy man says it's a quarter. He's correct. Three twelve simplifies as one quarter. Very good, Hezzy. Yes, yes, very good. I need two thirds of a pie. I only have four sixths of a pie. They're the same thing. What about four twelfths? Can we simplify? Oh, it's the greater gator. What about four twelfths? Can we simplify? He's eating the one because it's bigger than four twelfths. Now, four twelfths does simplify. Is it one quarter? No. One quarter is too small. Is it one third? Ding, 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 ding. Four twelfths simplifies. It's one third. Yeah. This episode is brought to you by Snacks. Don't leave home without them. It's eight tenths. Three fifths? No. How do I know to use fifths? Well, we'll talk about that in a second. But check this out. Ha 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 ha. Eight tenths is the same thing as four fifths. So we get to simplify by reducing eight tenths to four fifths. Now, how did we come up with this reduction here? Well, we'll talk about this. The greatest common factor of 8 and 10 is the biggest number that divides both 8 and 10. Hmm. Wow, what do you know? That's 2. And that's how you get the 4 fifths, because there are two 4s in 8. Whoop. And, check this out, there are two 5s in 10. Okay. We'll look at some additional examples. Don't get scared. Whoa! And remember, if you take any number other than zero and you divide it by itself, you get one. Stop right now. Stop this video and go watch the one link below if this is a new one for you. Let's simplify 14 over 21. Well, the good news is that the greatest common factor of both 14 and 21 is Seven! Woohoo! Why is it seven? Oh, this is not hard. Fourteen is two sevens. And twenty-one. How many sevens? You bet. Three sevens. Nine. So the biggest number that divides both fourteen and twenty-one is seven. And that's why we can reduce this. Oh, I see, I see. Remember. This is the key right here, lads and lasses. We have 14 is seven twos and seven threes. And you'll remember that anytime you divide a number by itself, that is just one. So you cross it out. That's how you get your two thirds. 14 divided by 21 is 2 thirds. Pause, rewind if you need to. Let's try another one. 
I need half of a pie. Well, I already ate two quarters of the pie. Two quarters and one half are the same thing. Thank you. Let's simplify 25 thirtieths. Oh, this looks scary, but don't worry. 25 is, well, what's the greatest common factor of 25 and 30? Mash, eh? The GCF of 25 and 30. Mash, eh? That's gonna be, I bet you can see it, it's five. Because we have five fives in 25. Mash, eh? Mash. And we have five sixes in 30. Mash, eh? That is our GCF. So, we are going to put this up here. We have five fives in 25. And we have five sixes in 30. And any number divided by itself is just one. So, we are left with five Six. That is our answer. Yeah. Penumbers. Whoa, this looks scary. What if we have negative three and we divide it by negative nine and we're in the wild? Oh, don't worry. This is just negative three divided by, well, what?